Bug Nuts, it's Jana from Canada. So I've been using the Camper 3 for a week now, uh, so I thought I'd give you a little video on it. Um, I actually forgot that I had it. I got it last fall, remember when I got my um, amber zip liner and I wasn't sure I would like it. So I've been waiting all winter to try it. Um, so now I'm using it. I am not 100% thrilled with it. I will, I will explain why using five different categories to create a 10 point system. This is something I'm going to uh, implement with all my lug products now. Um, it might get stupid and I might give up, but we're gonna try. So um, I'm gonna score everything at a 10 and with to get that score to 10, I'm gonna use five categories. Um, so that would be the fashion score. There will be a uh, function score, a flexibility score, meaning like how, um, how, how many different ways you can use it. There will be a fabric print score and a fabric texture score. So um, I'm going to score everything 0, 1, or a 2, 2 meaning awesome, and 0 meaning I hate it, and then 1 meaning like meh. So yeah, so we're going to start with the Camper 3 and see how this goes. Okay, let's start with the fabric. So we've got the fabric texture and the fabric, the like the print and the color. So um, this fabric is the Shimmer Wine fabric, which in terms of color, I love it. I think it is so pretty and having that little, um, that little shine in the sunlight there is, uh, is just gorgeous to me. Especially when they add this quilting. Um, I know that doesn't count as a print, but to me it brings, uh, you know, it makes it more interesting to look at. So I'm counting that as the print. Um, so yeah, I, I really, really like that. In terms of the texture of the fabric, this is the shimmer fabric, so it is a bit more stiff and textured. It's not as like super soft as the as the printed fabrics. Now, because of that, and because of the design of this bag, things like the strap or like this here, um, it's just it's just too stiff. It makes it really really annoying. Um, and when I try to adjust 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 the strap, it's it's so stiff that it's kind of. I don't know, it's just a little bit awkward. Now, I have been using this for about a week and uh, rumor has it that it will loosen up. Um, I don't know how long that takes. Hopefully, I don't know, it won't be much longer. Um, so yeah, so uh, for the texture of the fabric, I'm just gonna give it a one. But for the print, I am gonna give it two whole points because um, I think the, uh, the color makes it worth it and the quilting that they've added also really improves the, um, the print. Not print, color, whatever. Okay, cool. Now, in terms of fashion, I look adorable. This is so cute. Like, of course, I'm wearing, you know, a black shirt and blue jeans, so it kind of goes with that. But even if I was wearing a patterned shirt, um, it's just, it seems like a really neutral color. Um, and the bag itself, it's just, you know, I guess it's kind of a basic shape of the bag. But when you add that shimmer wine to it, it really, oh, I'm gonna quote Debbie, it makes it look elevated. Yeah, so I really like it. I feel really good when I wear this. I feel really fashionable and I feel like, you know, I'm getting um, <sighs> stared at. That's not right. I shouldn't say that. I don't know. I just feel good about it. So yeah, so for fashion, I'm going to give it two as well. So what do we have? We've got one, two, and two. It's five. I can math. Okay, now for um, function. This is where the Camper 3 gets really interesting. This bag has everything. It has so many of the features that we all love. So first off, we've got the straps. So Amy uh, gave us this extra, extra long crossbody strap. So this is the bag as a shoulder bag. It sits, I don't know, what would you call that? That's my hip, yep, right on the edge of my hip. Um, which to me is perfectly fine. My hand fits good here, so I like that. Now, you can go crossbody, but check this out for five foot four, Jana. It can go crossbody um, without even having to adjust it. Now, yes, it's a little tight of a crossbody. It looks, it, it's a little silly looking, but it's not that bad. So, like, if I was in a pinch and I just needed it to go crossbody really quick, I could just throw it over myself, no matter what the um, what the strap was at. Now, if you are taller than five foot four, or you have bigger bazongas than me, then you probably would prefer the. Um, extra crossbody strap. So we have done this before and Amy's done it and it, it is hilarious but uh, how long the strap goes. Okay, it's out of the shot. This is the full, this is the full 
strapling. So like it it goes. I don't care how tall you are. You could be ten feet tall, and this will fit you. Um, so for anyone looking for something specifically that has a really long crossbody strap, this is a good bag for you. Now for the rest of the functions of the bag, hold on, let me fix this strap now so that I can actually present it to you properly. See what I mean? See how stiff it is? It's so stiff. Okay, there we go. So I will start on this side. So right off the hop here, can I turn this down a little bit? Yeah, there we go, that's better. Um, we've got this east-west cell phone pocket. It does have the magnetic closure. I thought I would love this because it would make the phone kind of easier to access, but I it, it, it kind of doesn't actually, strangely enough. I, I find that it kind of gets caught in there a lot. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm just stupid, but it uh, it's not, it, I'm not enjoying it. And also I noticed that maybe my phone has to be out of the pocket. Yeah, see it kind of just does that. Like if my phone's not in there, and I, I see that gray lining a lot, and I don't like that. And I find that when the pocket goes north-south, it's so deep that the lining stays put. Um, it doesn't come out with the phone. So, I don't know. These are minor annoyances. Not worth um, boycotting the bag. So, yeah, there we go. East-south, I mean east-west phone pocket. This pocket here... This is your RFID pocket. It does go all the way to the bottom. It is a nice deep pocket. Now, because it's the RFID pocket, you, I guess, are supposed to put your wallet in here. This is the Kick Flip 3 Jam Packed. That's the Kick Flip 2. Rookie mistake. And it fits in there. Okay, I'm telling you it goes in easy. Oh, maybe if I go the other way. There we go. So it does fit. I'm also willing to bet the, what's the other big one? Mm, splits XL. The Splits XL will probably fit in there as well. I don't have one to show you. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, that's the RFID pocket. If you really want your wallet in there, the biggest wallet will fit. I find that that takes up too much real estate on the inside of the bag. So I prefer to keep my wallet um, on the main compartment and I just, whoops. Oh my goodness, I'm too old. And I just um, put my little transport envelope in the RFID pocket. Yes. This pocket is a soft lined pocket, so that means this bag has got three soft lined pockets total. Now you think that this is perfect for sunglasses, it is, it's a perfect shape for sunglasses, but I personally feel that putting your sunglasses in here is going to make them, like, they're going to get smashed because how often do you, you know, just toss your bag into your car or you like bonk into your car door or something and if your sunglasses are in that pocket, they are going to get smashed. So I'm just keeping my library card in here, uh, like my lotion, I've got lip balm in there, things that I have to access 18,000 times a day. On the side here, we've got two water bottle pockets. Now, this is kind of controversial, I think. Some people got magnetic pockets. If you did, please let us know. Um, but I did not. Now maybe this is a shimmer wine thing or maybe I am crazy and making this up. Um, I do miss it though. I wish it had magnets. I am using these pockets for my receipts. They're just a nice uh, slip pocket and for my car keys. I rarely use these for water bottles. And if I'm being honest, these are not very big. So you would, this would probably just fit, your, yeah, like your smallest water bottle. Okay. So, mm, there's our pocket. I've got a giant Evian bottle. That's not even, I'm not even. That's, that's how that's gonna go. I've got a tiny Evian bottle. Perfect. I do not have a medium sized water bottle, but what I do have is a twisted tea that I'm about to drink momentarily. That fits pretty good, actually. So maybe if you did have a medium-sized water bottle, it would be it would be a good fit. But yeah, those large water bottles, like how big is this guy? One liter? Not at all. Not happening. We've got one more pocket here. Now this pocket has got a key bungee in it, which as you all know is useless to me, but I love that it's out of the way. I love that it's not in the main compartment. When the key bungee is in the main compartment, it just gets in the way of everything. Um, and basically your keys get lost in the bag. I mean, you know where the bungee is, but they still get stuck on stuff at the bottom of the bag. So at least if the keys have their own pocket with their own key bungee, um, then I don't know, it's just out of the way and easier to find. Um, I can't really speak to the key bungee. I just hate it. So I keep my Kleenex in this pocket instead of my keys. Keys go there. Okay. 
Inside the bag, we have got on this wall one full ginormous um, clear view pocket. It is not divided down the center. I'm just using it to store, I don't know, just some papers, nothing really exciting. So that's that whole wall is one big clear view pocket. On the other wall, we have a second clear view pocket. So this one is where I keep my lip stains. Let's get this out of your way. Um, and as you all know, I love to be able to just see all my lip stains lined up because they're so pretty. So I love having two clear view pockets. Now I have noticed that I, I might be crazy, but when I put my transport in here and there was three sections of plastic, when they touched each other, they kind of get stuck. But I mean, most of the time you're gonna have a wallet or a book or you're gonna have something in there separating the two pieces of plastic. But uh, I don't know, if you don't plan on doing that, maybe that'll annoy you. Um, on this side, we have got two, I think those are, are those called stacked pockets or shelf pockets or something? Um, yeah, there's one on top of the other. Now the top one is soft lined. That's our third soft lined pocket. I prefer this for my sunglasses because they just feel like they're more secure in there. They're not gonna get smashed so easy. And then below that, we've got two little pen slots and then this flat pocket I feel is perfect for my gum. So that is the inside of the bag. Um, as you can see, the Camper 3 has lots to offer in terms of like Lug's special features. So for those of you keeping track, we are giving her two points for fashion because she makes me feel pretty, two points for the fabric print because I think this is gorgeous. She gets two points for function because she has got a ton of Lug features, um, but we're only giving her one point for the fabric's texture because it is so stiff and one point for flexibility because like I know the strap converts but otherwise like there's no hidden backpack straps or like it doesn't convert into like a spaceship or anything so um so yeah one point for flexibility so two plus two plus two plus one plus one is eight so she gets eight out of ten eight Jenna from Canada points if that means anything to anybody um, so yeah, that is my review of the Camper 3. If you have any questions or comments, send them my way and I'll do my best to help you out. Okay, this is Jana from Canada saying, take off, eh?